Hello there, this is Miss Norma, and in this video I'm going to go over the basics of the abacus. For this lesson, I'm going to use the Cranmer abacus, which was developed to help students with vision impairments. The abacus has high contrast colors and can be purchased through the American Printing House for the Blind. This abacus has 13 rods, which allows someone to count all the way to the trillion's place. Each rod can be seen as a place value. The rod to the furthest right is the ones place, then next to it on the left is the tens place, then the hundreds, then the thousands, and so forth. All the rods are divided by the horizontal bar, and each rod has five beads. The beads below the horizontal bar represents ones, while the bead above the horizontal bar represents fives. When all the beads are pushed away from the horizontal bar, this indicates that the abacus is cleared. Today we're going to count up using the abacus. When counting up, beginning on the ones place, we bring one bead from the below horizontal line section, indicating one then two, then three, then four. To indicate a five, we're going to bring down the five bead on the ones rod, and then at the same time push down the four beads below the horizontal line. This indicates as five. Then bring up one bead in the ones rod. This indicates as six. Then seven, then eight, then nine. To go to ten, we are going to bring up one bead from below the horizontal line in the ten slot, then pushing away, emptying or clearing the ones rod. This indicates ten, a one, and a zero. To continue on from ten, you bring up the one bead from the one rod, indicating 11, one in the tens place, one in the ones place, and then continue on, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and like previously with the 10, bring up a second bead in the tens place and clearing the ones place again, indicating 20, two, and zero.